Hello you guys, today I'm going to be reviewing for you the LEGO 2019, the LEGO Movie 2 2019 or late 2018 Sweet Mayhem minifigure or General Mayhem, so uh, from the LEGO Movie 2. Uh, I did do a review on the Wild Style minifigure, so if you want to go check that out, go right ahead. Um, also, I was going to try out a new uh, lighting thing in this video. You might be able to see kind of a reflection on her face with it and just tell me if you like that new lighting thing and if it helps or not uh, and yeah um, anyway let's get into the minifigure now all right so yeah I'm gonna start off with this it this one didn't come with the uh, other wing extensions up here it just came with the bottom ones which I'm actually a bit surprised but glad that those are actually connected to the armor and I'm actually gonna go ahead and start with this so, I feel like this armor actually doesn't really fit that well onto the mini doll. It's kind of wobbly, and then it's not held on very well by the head. It still moves around a lot. Um, yeah, kind of a bad decision to put armor on a mini doll. But, like, I wish they just kind of made a new mold for the torso with the armor. That probably would have been a lot better. For the arms, uh, they're just white arms with a bit of this teal color painted around there. And then there's the purple right there and on the legs, you can see that there. And yeah, there's also a bit of uh, writing up here on the torso, some mysterious language. Uh, don't exactly know what that says. And anyway, but the armor does look pretty cool, like it's a cool new shape. Also, it is made specifically for mini dolls, which means I believe just a regular Lego bar could fit in there. So, so that's pretty cool too. And and then you could clip on other like the other wings onto those little things. Also, the wings are pretty cool as well. They have the white going out there, and then the wings themselves are the clear blue color with a bunch of sparkles in them, which is pretty cute. And then, uh, not anything around the back, except, I mean, that does continue around there. And there is still some, uh, teal color on the arms there. Also, we have also some more of the mysterious writing on the shoulders, or at least this shoulder. So, that's interesting. I wonder what that's gonna say, or if it's even gonna say anything. And now I'm gonna show the face, which... Looks pretty good. It's pink. Um, it has a awfully long smile right there, and then there's a bit of like painting underneath the eyes, as you can see right there, with the darker pink right there. And you see her expression. She has like one eyebrow raised right there. Obviously, because it's a mini doll, we're not going to get an alternate expression. And then for the helmet, which I think is probably the best part about this figure, it's um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. It's triple molded as you can see from the inside um, it's white mostly and then you see on the inside it's uh, the dark pink and then you can see the black right there which is the mask part on the front and I think this was made pretty well like very well it's not it's not rubber which is pretty cool it's just a hard plastic which that looks really really cool I, I think I really like this helmet mold it has the fin coming out there and then just the two like, uh, things right there. It looks a lot like her, um, ship, but I think it's supposed to be like that. And I think that looks really cool like that. She has a little thing right there, maybe, like, to talk into, but... Yeah, I think that helmet looks really cool. And then this figure also did come with the hair. And I have a huge problem with this hair piece. It does not really fit that well on a mini doll. And I understand now why they always give mini dolls the rubber hair piece. Because here, it just kind of, uh, it really, really wobbles. And this, it's, it's plastic, mostly, but it's really hard to tell that it is, because it's just kind of a, it, it's a bit of rubber, like, that I don't really understand. And it has all this glossy painting on the top, which is kind of weird to me. Um, it's very, very shiny, and it really stands out. And it's very, it feels very strange as well. And I can't really tell what even, like, type of material this is. It really just confuses me. But you do get a little hole right there to put, like, a bow in or something like that. Crown, something. And then 
because you know a mini doll hairpiece usually has that and then the two pigtails right there but yeah that hairpiece really confuses me um i don't really like it it's very yeah it's very weird um but anyway i think the character looks a lot better with the helmet on i kind of wish this figure came with the top wing pieces but you can pretty much assume what those are going to look like uh just the same as that part of the wing but longer and I feel like the character would look a lot cooler with those, too. But anyway, I mean, when you're looking at the figure, it does look really cool. Like, I like the figure itself. Um, but then you, like, you gotta focus on a lot of the things here. And just kind of how, you know, things like how this doesn't really fit that well. How the hair piece doesn't really fit that well, either. It's pretty wobbly and it's not that good, but I mean... Still, it, it's a good fig. I, I really like it. I think it's cool. It's uh, it's probably about as good as I thought it was going to be. Um, and yeah, I, I really like this figure. And anyway, um, that's pretty much it for this review. Um, I am probably won't get any more of these LEGO Movie 2 minifigures before the actual sets release. Because they are coming out pretty soon. But maybe some other ones like a Ninjago or something like that. And anyway... Yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.